Welcome, Ben Mama. When I decided that my next greatest of all time video would cover the Texas Instruments ti 99 a computer, I wasn't really sure how it would go down, because although it finished in 13th place in my greatest computers of all time poll, and was a pretty popular computer in North America back in the early 80s, well before the prize war with Commodore effectively killed it that is, the TI-99 had very little presence in Europe, and seems to now be considered quite a niche machine in retro gaming circles. But I was really surprised at the response to this one, because it actually received hundreds and hundreds of votes, far more than my polls for more popular systems like the Super Nintendo and Commodore 64 in fact, and I'm hoping that this video will now open up this brilliant system to a much wider audience. If you want to know more about the TI-99 and its interesting history, which I already alluded to, then make sure you check out my amazing facts video on the Texas Instruments computer. And if you want to see more gameplay, then check out some of the other videos I've done on the system, like my amazing exclusives video for example, they're all linked down in the description. As with previous Greatest of All Time videos, I put the big question to the members of several large retro gaming groups on Facebook, including the hugely popular and very lively Retro Gaming Hysteria, link in the description for those who want to join, as well as my own loyal subscribers, asking them to name their top 5 and the reasons why. Following the same rules as before, I ordered 5 points to first choice, 4 points to second and so on and so forth. I then counted up those votes to decide the final placings, and in the case of games having the same number of points, I then went to the number of votes awarded, followed by the number of first place votes to decide the final rankings. I didn't actually have to use these tiebreakers very much in this video at all, with them only coming into effect when I compiled the wider top 40, which as always will be available as a Patreon exclusive video at the start of next month. In terms of the actual voting itself, there weren't really any surprises in all honesty, as I pretty much predicted the top 10 exactly, and all the games I thought would make it, did. However, there were a couple of things that caught my eye. Firstly, there was a huge amount of love for coin-up conversions in the final list, which, as you'll know if you have watched all the other episodes in this series, don't usually get many votes. Especially on home computers, weirdly, with you usually voting for more original options. The second thing I'd like to mention is a huge amount of love for homebrew games, which don't usually get many votes either, but there was no less than 8 making the whole top 40. And with all that important context out of the way, it's time for me to introduce the main event as I proudly present the 20 greatest Texas Instruments TI-99 4A games of all time. Computers for the home are really popular items, but which one's right for you? These? Powerful, but very expensive. These, you want more software cartridges. This, can expand or program it right away. Which leaves this, the home computer from Texas Instruments. Memory, programmability, expandability, price. Plus, a full range of software cartridges. This, is the one. The home computer from Texas Instruments. Despite being closely associated with Nintendo and their own entertainment system console, Donkey Kong appeared on an awful lot of different machines, TI-99 included. This version bests the one on the NES 2 by including all four screens from the original arcade game. From one great Atari Soft coin-up conversion to another, with the TI-99 port of Namco's Dig Dug, which still ranks as one of my favourite arcade games from the early 80s. This port certainly doesn't disappoint, with all the gameplay that made the arcade original so great. <laughs> And our third Atari Soft release in a row is actually a conversion of their own arcade game this time, the Seminal Centipede, which recently got updated as part of the present day Atari's Recharged series. The TI-99 version wins out by recreating all the frantic action of the original. Next 
Next up we have another Nintendo arcade conversion, but this time one from Parker Brothers, in the form of Popeye. Based on the popular cartoon, this fixed screen platformer has you fighting off the ever menacing Bluto while striving to win the love of sweetheart olive oil. truly groundbreaking platformer that first appeared on the Atari 8-bit before being ported to just about every system under the sun, Miner 2049er went on to inspire the likes of Manic Miner, Spelunker and indeed its own sequel, Bounty Bob Strikes Back. The only home conversion of the obscure Sega Gremlin arcade game, Blasto continues the strong arcade theme of this list so far and is a highly underrated tank based maze game that took concepts from several other popular coin ups of the era and combined them perfectly. games were one of the earliest arcade genres, with stuff like Midway's Amazing Maze and Atari's Gotcha. And with Amazing, Texas Instruments took many of the ideas seen in those games and improved on them greatly to create a more solo focused affair. Probably best known as an Intellivision game, a lot of people don't seem to realise it was also ported to the TI-99, but enough of you remembered its brilliance to see it make 13th place in this list. Microsurgeon is both incredibly original and a satisfying challenge too. Irem's original Moon Patrol arcade game, released by Williams Electronics in the West, is credited as the first game to feature parallax scrolling, but thankfully its gameplay matched its visual brilliance and this TI-99 port contains every element that made it so great. Whilst being clearly inspired by Donkey Kong, Bigfoot is a game with enough original aspects of its own to make it feel like a very different game. The key mechanic here is using your rope and hook to reach higher platforms and collect all the treasures Bigfoot is guarding. The Atari soft conversions keep on coming with the excellent TI-99 port of Defender. It's a little bit easier than the arcade game thankfully, but still features all the same action that made the Williams Electronics original one of the most acclaimed coin ops of all time. Since I first discovered the TI-99 a few years ago, Alpina has become a firm favourite of mine. 
the huge sprites combined with the original gameplay and the best use of speech I've heard in a TI-99 game make this more than worthy of its top 10 finish. Beware! Falling object! Help! Walk right into I've enjoyed Demon Attack across multiple platforms over the years, and indeed I owned the excellent Atari 2600 original as a kid. But the Super TI-99 version is by far the best, as it extends the whole gameplay experience and boosts the visuals greatly too. Like Alpina, Tombstone City is another TI-99 exclusive and a personal favourite of my own too. A great single screen shoot em up with some interesting tactical elements, it ended up being one of the most voted for games on this entire list. Although the general concept of Hunt the Wampus has been around since the early 70s having been originally created for the giant mainframe computers found in universities across America, the TI-99 iteration greatly enhances the visual aspects in particular. Though Scott Adams had released most of his text adventure games separately, in 1984 he created this amazing pack that effectively put all 14 titles available at this time on one cartridge, although additional discs and tapes would need to be purchased to unlock them all. Atari Soft's official version of Pac-Man only just missed out on the top 20, but TI's own take on the game only just missed out on a podium place, as Munchman finishes fourth. The big change here is the way you form a chain through the maze, rather than just collecting dots. Pac-Man wasn't the only popular arcade game of the age that TI ripped off, as Taito's Space Invaders got the same treatment, and this version of the ever popular fixed screen shooter is so good that it takes the bronze medal in our TI-99 countdown. One of the very first graphical role playing games, Tunnels of Doom puts up to four players in control of up to four characters in a single party to explore the dangerous tunnels, fight monsters and collect precious treasure, a true TI-99 exclusive masterpiece. we all knew that Parsec would take the number one spot, didn't we? A vertically scrolling shooter of the highest quality, it's also one of the few games to make extensive use of the speech module. If there's one game that defines the TI-99, it's Parsec. Enemy. Alert! Ships attacking! Alert! Alien craft advancing!
For the first time in his life, he's struggling, having a hard time in math. He needs help. He can get that help with the home computer from Texas Instruments. It has more educational cartridges than any other computer. They challenge, encourage, make learning fun. The home computer from Texas Instruments. It can give your child a head start in school that could last a lifetime. And that rounds up my look at the 20 greatest Texas Instruments TI-99 4A games of all time. But which games were you most surprised not to see make the final list? Or are there any games you don't think were worthy of inclusion in this countdown? I always love to hear the thoughts and views of my audience, so please get typing in that comment section. Before I go though, I must thank all of my loyal patrons and YouTube backers for continuing to support my channel and make videos like this possible. However, I must give special thanks to the following people in particular for their much appreciated pledges. Paul Daniel, Mins, Dos Gamer Man, Luke MC, Carl Olsen, Seth Robinson, Frosty, Mark Strickland, Kalimatorn, Trogdor the Verninator, Daniel Skorodsky, Ben P. Stein, Tabby Kitsune, David Maddox, Your Eyes Are Bleeding, Joe Kassara, Classic Gamer 74, Bernard Santu, Peter Grantham, and Electron Star Collapse. If you also want to help support all my creative endeavours, including this YouTube channel, then please go and check out my Patreon right now, where you can get access to a host of content including downloads, exclusive videos, creative insights, and much more besides. I've been the Laird, I thank you for watching, and I'll see you all again for another video very soon.